Hey, what's up? This is Max from Splice, and today we are going to record some electric guitar and then mess around with it using a few of the new features in Persona Studio One 4, including the core track and Sample One XT. So I have a buddy here with me who's going to help us out by laying down some guitar chords. Uh, so let's grab those right now. Very nice. Uh, let's take a listen back to that. Okay, sounding very good. Let's get a little melody line on top of there, huh? We can turn the record arm there and record again. Beautiful, thank you so much. Uh, so, let's see how that turned out together. Okay, sounds awesome. So what we're gonna do is use the chord track first. We're going to right click here and extract the chords from the guitar chords track onto our chord track. Okay, so you see it got the chord progression, which is A minor 7, B flat major 7, F major 7, and D minor. Great. Looks like it's all in the right place. But if we wanted to move these chords around, we could line them up. That totally works, though. Now, this will allow us to apply these chords to any track in our project. Uh, we're going to right-click here and apply the chords from the chord track. And now you see these chords show up. So if we, if we change any of these to a different chord, it will change the audio as well. Let's try changing this to something totally random or out of key. So we can maybe change this D minor to like a F sharp minor. It's probably going to sound pretty bad, but let's hear it. Actually, that's not bad at all. See, those are the kind of mistakes that you might, or quote unquote mistakes that you might uncover when you're using this software. It makes it really easy to try different arrangements without having to do a million takes of different chords. So thanks a lot, Ken. Okay, so now we're going to try recording a little bit more, but this time we're going to do it directly into Sample 1 XT, which is a sampler where you can record audio directly into it and it will chop it automatically for you so that you can play it back on a MIDI keyboard and it's all there uh, and it's super nice and convenient. So let's open up Sample 1 XT and we're going to go to the record tab. I'm going to use the gate record function, meaning that it will automatically create slices instead of recording one full piece of audio. Uh, it's going to go on after it reaches this threshold and then go off after it falls below this threshold. So let's see how that works. And go ahead whenever you're ready. Do you wanna try one more with a couple more voicings? Okay, awesome. Now we can turn recording off and let's hear what we've got here. So I can play these chops right back on a MIDI keyboard. Super cool. All right, great. Now let's listen to it with the other stuff on top of it. Okay. 
Not bad. Let's just put a little bit of an effect on it for good measure. I really like some of the Presonus stuff. We'll do a little analog delay. Awesome. If that sounds good, we can print it to audio. We can use this handy transform to audio track function and render the inserts as well. Great. Now, if we like, we can also apply the chords from the chord track and go back and try changing it again. So this is a really easy way to play around with arrangements and make them cool without having to record it a million times. So cheers, enjoy, and thanks for watching.